Okay, so I'm sitting here with Samir Patel, uh, director of uh, Heavy Ball's upcoming video, Unhappy Now, in the lovely surroundings of the Gents of London Barbershop in Clerkenwell. Brilliant. Well, um, Unhappy Now is your collaboration with Heavy Ball. What, what, what did you do to make that different from uh, Black Eye Friday and obviously another country, uh, the one in Ethiopia? Yeah, so I went. To, I was shooting um, the third video of Unhappy Now in Africa, like uh, another country, and I thought, I don't want it to look the same. And um, another country is a bit more abstract, bit more about, um, it's more, I guess, visually lyrical. It's, it's, asking you, it's asking you questions, but just giving you shots, but nobody's really in it. And um, I found this band when I was in Malawi. I think they're the only Malawian rock band. <laughs> and they were visually quite interesting. They just had a great look about them. And I thought it wouldn't, wouldn't be interesting if we, if we tried to almost see whether the audience would believe that this band have done. Right, that was them performing. Exactly, yeah. How, how did you recruit them? So when I was in Malawi, I was, I was shooting something from a, a very short film for Man U, about a Man U fan out there. And, um, but I had the idea to shoot for Heavy Ball, and I'd already pictured them, and they liked the idea. And I was looking around for a bat, for a, actually one singer. Um, and the person that was found had dropped out, or had just disappeared. Mm -hmm. And um, then the second person who came along said, said, oh, by the way, I've got a band, why don't you meet them? When I saw them, I thought, this is great, because they actually looked like a real band. So uh, the idea moved from being just about a singer singing it to an actual whole band, and that's when I began to see well, perhaps you know we can do something more interesting and different. Okay, did you have to give them any special hints to look realistic? Or did you, you know, try and encourage them to act as uh, they're playing a very sort of British sounding yeah, music? Did yeah. you have to uh, try and give any help for that, or was okay. they just natural on their part? Well, um, I think they took to it well, given the fact that English isn't their first language. So they practice with three, three, they practice hard for three and a half days, practice all night, um, rehearsed it a lot, and so they kind of got into it. What came out was quite convincing for me. And is it true that they now include the song in their set? Yeah, that's true. So, but, so now when they play, uh, it's, part of, it's, it's an integral part of their, of their set, yeah, and, and it's, they're really good. So do you think you've had any change in their outlook musically? I mean, you dressed them in a bit of murk, you, you gave them a little bit of an indie scar to play along to. Do you think you've changed their direction a bit? Yeah, so, so murk were great. They gave me some clothing. So the lead singer and the drummer wore some clothing. And also I showed them some uh, Sex Pistols and I showed them some uh, Joy Division. Right. Because in Malawi, internet is quite difficult to get. And they hadn't actually seen many British bands in the past and how, and how, they, um, how they were with the camera, how they were right. with the mic. So um, that really helped them and they really enjoyed it because seeing how the bands are live gave them the kind of impetus to, to push themselves a bit harder. Okay. And the, the video itself also shoots, uh, shows a lot of crowd participation from locals. Yeah. Uh, I mean, was that natural and how did they react to the sort of heavy ball British sounds? Well, I mean, the strange thing is I didn't give the crowd any, uh, I didn't give any direction at all. They kind of just appeared there. So I think what you saw was some, uh, was some kids uh, on the top of a mountain dancing. Yeah. They just turned up. When they saw a band on top of that mountain, they called their friends and suddenly after about an hour, we had a whole bunch of kids around. And uh, the track is quite catchy. And the kids, even though they didn't speak English, they kind of understood the lyric, so they're jumping and singing it. Every time we stopped the music, they were singing it themselves anyway. Right, brilliant. So we just integrated it into the, into the video. Okay, superb. Okay.